Hey guys! Welcome to my channel! So, that was a weird intro. I'm not exactly sure. I'm still trying to get used to all this because I've never done it before. And I think this is the proper introduction because I'm, well, I'm crazy. So, I'm here to talk to you guys about some products that I'm absolutely loving from Sephora. So their sale, their summer sale is happening right now. I'm gonna just say that it's a permanent sale because I mean they had it last year. It was supposed to be a surprise sale and I mean it's happening again so I'm just gonna pretend that it's official. I know that Rouge are getting the same 20% off and VIB and Insiders, are they both getting 15% off? Because I'm not sure. I know usually Beauty Insiders will get 10% but I'll find out a little bit more info about that. I just want to talk to you guys a little bit about a few of the products that I've been using and that I really, really love. The first product would be the Ole Henriksen, Ole, no, it's Ola Henriksen Wonderful Feel Double Cleanser. I don't think I've ever tried a cleanser that cleans the eye makeup so well. I mean, it cleans the entire face, first of all very well but the thing with this is that my eyes don't burn I've never tried something where my eyes don't burn I have the most sensitive eyes and I mean micellar water yeah I can use that cotton pad whatever it is and take off my eye makeup but the thing is I just find that this because it's a cream I guess I find that it just cleans it so much better and it just removes every single ounce of makeup on there it Smells like berries. I, I, anything berry smells really, really good. I would love to find a dupe of this product. I don't think I am going to, but I absolutely love this one. It's tried and true for me, so if anyone does have a dupe or a recommendation, leave it in the comments below because I'm always down to try a dupe, something a little bit cheaper because, I mean, it's not cheap. It's not super expensive, but, I mean... It is Sephora. Another product that I'm really loving as well is from a Pharmacy and it's the Honeymoon Glow. I love the consistency of it. It's like a, it's very, it's like a thick creamy consistency. And I wake up and my skin is just beautiful. It's glowy. I find that my texture has minimized. Like it just, it's a miracle worker. I absolutely love this AHA serum. So highly recommend this one. For a nighttime, what I like to use is the Origins High Potency Night Emit. This smells like someone got a bunch of tropical fruits and just smushed them together, mashed them together. I don't know. But it smells so good. It smells so good. It is a little bit of a thicker consistency, as you guys can see. I feel like it really moisturizes my skin and in the morning I wake up and my skin is just beautiful, it's glowy. Anything with, I guess, like the word glowy. Uh, wait, does this have the word glow? No, this one doesn't have glow. I'm an idiot. But anything that makes my skin glow, I'm all about that life. Even though I'm very oily, that makes me glow too, but sometimes it's a little too much. Another skincare product that I have is from Drunk Elephant, and it's the Debronze Eye Anti-Pollution Sunshine Serum. Really, really do enjoy this serum, specifically because it makes my skin look so glowy. So what I like to do with this is I mix it up with a little bit of my moisturizer, and then I just put it onto my skin. This is for days that I don't want to put on any makeup. And I just want to give a little bit of a glow to my face. I do find that this works better when I'm tan, a little bit darker and have some color to my body. Because this will make your face a little bit darker. At first I went straight in with it. I didn't like read like any of the reviews. I just pumped it and I put it onto, I just put it onto my face and my face looked really not so cute. So I just started mixing it in with my moisturizer and I do really enjoy the glow that it gives to your skin. So this is another recommendation that I would give to you guys. And then my last skincare product that I want to talk to you guys about is from Tarte and it's called Rainfor it's Rainforest of the Sea, the Deep Serum Deep Sea Collagen Super Serum. So this product, I originally did buy it off of the Tarte website just because at the time Sephora still was not carrying it. 
this is a serum like no other. I would recommend this more for someone that has dry skin, but I just love the feeling of this. And I think because I have oily skin, I do have a little bit of combination, but I'm more on the oily side. So the actual serum is separated from the oils up top, and you basically just have to shake it, and then there you have it. And as soon as you put it into your skin, it just, it soaks right up. Like it absorbs it so quickly. And there's something about the smell that I absolutely love. I don't know what kind of scent it is. I, I can't describe it whatsoever, but I, I love this. So one of the things I would highly recommend for every girl to get, you know, is the Boom Boom Cream from Sol de Janeiro. Um, it smells so good. It's literally vacation. Everyone said this already. Let me just open it and just smell it for you guys. Hold on. Guys, I bought this last year, by the way. And I got it in a set for, when was it? November. I got it in a set in November. Because I'm like, okay, since I'm paying the full price for the cream, and it comes, it came with, what was it? A travel size spray, a body wash, and hand cream which the hand cream I still have it oh. guys it smells so good I have hardly touched it because I'm scared to finish it and I don't want to finish it because I don't want to repurchase it for like another two years or something like that yeah I don't want I don't I can't do that to myself it hurts it hurts too much for that but if you guys don't have it and you really need it pick it up now it's the time the time is now, my friends, it is now. So I also have two recommendations when it comes to perfumes. I don't necessarily purchase perfumes at Sephora just because they are very expensive. I do have another means of buying them, which I'll talk about in another video. First one is the Burberry Her. And the top notes are raspberry, cherry, strawberry, blackberry, and blueberry. And the heart notes, violet, jasmine, and base notes, woods, musk, and amber. When I first smelt it, oh my god. It just smells like a field of berries mushed together. It seems like there's a lot of fruits mushed together for me. Oh my goodness. This reminds me, okay, I don't know what it is, but it reminds me of my Barbie dolls from when I was younger. If you guys, can you guys just like go to the store and smell it and tell me you guys don't think of Barbies? I got this in Portugal, at the Sephora Portugal. It was discounted for, what was it? For like 40 euros, so I paid $58 for the 50 mil instead of $112 plus tax. Tell me that's not insane, guys. Like, that's in insane my favorite perfume from for for the entire summer has been the comptoir said pacific uh vanille abricot oh it's like i know it's supposed to be vanilla and apricot i mean it is if that's what you want to smell but oh it smells like candy in a way. It's like let me let me let me get the notes for you guys. Just one second, one second. It says that there is jackfruit, apricot, papaya, vanilla, and sugar candy. I think I'm getting more notes from the sugar candy right now. Oh, this smells just one second. Mmm, yes. Oh, give it to me. I smell that candy. I don't know what it is, but so the first thing on my wish list is the Laurier Mercier moisturizer, tinted moisturizer. I'm absolutely in love with it. Now, with me working in a hospital environment, I don't really like to have such heavy coverage. Unless it's for a special event, I've usually stuck to wearing Too Faced Born this way. Absolutely love that foundation. I do recommend that one as well. But now I'm even more into lighter coverage than that. So... I went to Sephora and I'm not sure if this is 100% new because I feel like it's already been out in the States. Canada usually gets things second. I got a sample of it and I found that it gave me just enough coverage that I needed. It's super light, it covers my redness 
and it evens out my skin tone and I find that when I come home it's so easy to take off I don't find that I need to use something so heavy to take it off or anything because it's such a light coverage so that is something I'm really looking forward to wearing especially for the summer even though it is finishing now and we're heading into fall I still think it's gonna be perfect to wear all the time throughout any season next thing up on my Sephora list is the Sol de Janeiro bum bum body mist or I guess it's not called body mist I think it's just the oh the Brazilian crush that's what it's called so the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian crush now the body mist I absolutely love it I hate that it does not have longevity to it but I love the scent I think it's so perfect for summer I'm going to Mexico in about three weeks so this is something that I'm going to be spraying almost every day only thing is I'm hoping that maybe Sol de Janeiro comes out with a perfume maybe just an eau de toilette just so there's more longevity to it and it lasts on my skin because I want it to just stick on to me I just want people to smell it I mean I want to smell it I just want to smell like vacation all the time and that's literally what it is it's vacation in a bottle I'm gonna get the smaller size just because I don't want to splurge on the bigger one and then what I'm probably gonna do is maybe like maybe April sale then I'll get the larger one and refill the smaller one so I could take it with me on the go for vacation since I can't carry that huge I think it's like 240 mil for the bigger one I just yeah I can't carry that stuff around so the next thing on my wish list well I mean I already have it but it's a scent that I don't have and I want to try so the one I currently have is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in the shade Berry and I want to get the vanilla one. I really like that scent and I think I, I, do, I just don't want to do Berry for another whole year. I think I got this one, I think it was last year's sale, November. And the fact that it took so long to finish is amazing, especially for the price and how much you get. This thing really goes a long way. You don't need to put too much, but sometimes I do overdo it with like, lathering it on my lips just because I love the way it feels you wake up and your lips are so juicy still and they're plump the next thing that I have on my wish list is from nude sticks and it is their magnetic eye color there's a specific color that I've been wanting to get and I've just been holding off on it it's the spirit color so I went into Sephora and when I was just getting some makeup tested on me she grabbed the nude sticks in spirit and put it on my eyes and because my eyes are green it made them stand out so much and I just remember that specific colors and I just I just need that color I think it's so beautiful and I find that the application it's just so easy it's very quick and like I said working in a hospital I find that it's just so easy to blend out I mean you do have to do it fairly quickly because I know that they dry fast but I just think it's perfect for on the go I told my cousin about it and she ended up getting a set the um, a smaller set of it with three and I think that the price is quite amazing I just specifically want to get the spirit color they don't have that in any sets they only have a few sets on Sephora on the actual nude sticks website they have more but I mean we want to get that 20% off right I am kind of a little obsessed with um, I believe it's called olive queen and copper foil those two are absolutely stunning those would be on my next but you know we gotta think realistically now so one will do for now and the last item on my wish list is a perfume and it's from the seven virtues and it's in the scent called vanilla woods I thought it reminds me of Bath and Body Works for some reason but like more upscale I almost find that it smells like warm vanilla perhaps something like that but a little bit more expensive it is a clean brand they use essential oils it lasts forever on the skin I love the story behind the company and how it was created. I think you guys should really Google uh, about the Seven Virtues. I really love it and for that reason I also want to support them. But the scent, they just, they really hit it for me and I can't wait to wear for fall. I think it's just perfect for the upcoming months. So it's definitely a perfume I'm excited to get. Oh my god, that was my first video guys. Ooh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh my god. Got through it. Yay. <laughs> so make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Later.